Are the words about a pandemic at this point? No, we're not at all, and uh, we're, we have it totally under control. We're prepared, and we're doing a great job with it, and it will go away. Just stay calm, and we'll go away. It's like around 12. Many of them are getting better. Some are fully recovered already. It's absolutely critical for the American people to follow the guidelines for the next 30 days. It's a matter of life and death. If we can hold that down, as we're saying to 100,000, it's a horrible number. Maybe even less. And we have between 100 and 200,000. We all together have done a very good job. The breaking news at this hour, the worst jobs report in American history. These are the lonely times for a president. All the decisions come to you. Uh, and he's made just about all of them wrong. This is a serious thing. And right now, the federal government oh, is failing. Okay. Well, I don't take responsibility at all because we're with you. Right now, what we have in Washington is two parties that are always fighting each other, that aren't representing the American people. There's a massive economic a stimulus, roughly stimulus $50 billion dollars in assistance for airlines. It's pretty simple. When you have a crisis like this, the key is to get assistance to people who need it the most as fast as possible. I have constituents right now who cannot get the unemployment benefits they need. Small businesses in my community that cannot get the loans they need. But I think that Amash is going to hurt the Republicans more than the Democrats. It 100% helps Trump, hurts Biden. People want honesty and practicality, and what they see in Washington is the opposite of that. Uh, we need someone who's going to step up and represent millions of Americans who don't feel well represented by either of these parties and particularly don't feel well represented by Donald Trump or Joe Biden. I'm running for president because we need someone in Washington who's going to be honest and practical and fight for a system that will benefit the people.